time yet at running back. We'll see if he gets any snaps at all today. Patterson with good protection, floats it high, and a good grab by Gentry. And really good playoff play action. Michigan's first really big offensive play of the game. Let's pause here, look at the offensive line. Bottom of the line does really well. It's three on two. JBB on Wendy and Ruiz, they do well. You got Runyon and Bradison up top with one guy, and again, they do well. Block of the play is True Wilson on this blitzing middle linebacker from SMU. He is screaming in there, and True Wilson really neutralizes him well. Boom, right there. Bonus points for Bradison for helping him out. He saw the blitz late, so he helps him out as well, so that's good to see. Uh, let's look at the routes. You got at the top of the screen Nico Collins on a fly. You got DPJ on what looks like a post. I'll explain why I think it is a post. You got uh, Gentry on this kind of pick route on number nine before going out on a flag route. He ultimately makes the play. And then you got McCune on this sort of late developing flat route. Let's move forward here. I'll explain what I think uh, Patterson's looking at. I think right away he's looking at this deep safety. So as I mentioned, it's hard to tell exactly what DPJ is on, but I think he's on this post route. That would explain why Patterson is looking at that safety. If that safety is screaming up, not getting appropriate depth for uh, DPJ on his cut inside on a post pattern, that would open up his route. Otherwise, if he is getting appropriate depth, which cuts off the inside for DPJ, <coughs> excuse me, that opens up Gentry on the flag route. So that's why I think uh, we see this play work. Um, you see the pass is a little high for Gentry here, uh, but he, he pulls it down. It's a nice play. In motion. Pressure up the middle again. Patterson hit as he throws. It's caught by his title. Huge third and four pickup from Patterson to Gentry. Let's first look at the offensive line. They all do a pretty good job here. You've got a uh, two-on-one with Bradison and Ruiz on this defensive tackle. You got Runyon doing a good job on the bomb defensive end. You got a Wayne U and JBB doing well on top. No issue between the four uh, offensive linemen. You will see pressure on Patterson right now, and that's because of what Evans does. So Evans immediately looking at number 14, this linebacker. Instead, he should have been looking uh, inside out. He would have seen the immediate threat was this middle linebacker on a blitz. We just saw Drew Wilson do a good job on this, so uh, you don't like to see that. The route combination, you have DPJ running this sort of pick route to occupy two defenders for a bit before running kind of this fly route. As a result, that will open up Collins on a shallow cross. He gets wide open. This is the second read for Patterson, though. We had uh, Perry in motion here. He's going to run a deep kind of comeback route. That whole job is to occupy this cornerback and to isolate him on Perry. As a result, that opens up this linebacker to be one-on-one -on -one coverage on Gentry in the uh, in the seam route, and that's a huge mismatch. That's exactly what Michigan wanted, and as you can see, that's immediately where uh, where Patterson's eyes are going. He goes right to the deep safety. He wants to see uh, where that deep safety is in relation to where this seam route is essentially going to line up. Now that he's occupied, this linebacker has no chance. He's reading that safety to see his positioning to determine the viability of the seam route. Uh, he likes what he sees, and he goes deep. As a bonus, you can see how open this route became. Uh, that's because DPJ did a really good job on his route. So good throw. Could have been a bit higher, but overall you really like to see it. As a bonus, look at Collins right now. So Collins is wide open. If, if Gentry was not open on this route. Uh, I'm guessing Patterson's second read would have been here probably in a second or two. Uh, but overall, really good play, really good execution. Uh, Evans needs to do a better job blocking, but. They fake it to Thomas. Good oh, protection, open. Patterson over the middle. He's got Peoples-Jones, and Peoples-Jones It's the first of three touchdowns for DPJ on the day. It's kind of a double play action pass here. Let's look at the offensive lineman first. Again, they all do really well. Uh, Runyon's got a one-on-one -on -one block, Bradison as well, Ruiz has one-on-one. -on -one. Kind of got two guys here between Unwenyu and JBB. This guy looks like he's coming up, but really he has responsibility on Thomas. So we keep Gentry in, but he doesn't actually block anyone. So overall, this is a really nice pocket for Patterson to operate in. You see at the time that he's about to throw, he's got no one in his face and everyone's still engaged and doing a good job. And <laughs> There's three-on-one up here, so they better be doing a good job, but they all do. 
Uh, so Michigan's really, I think, only sending three guys out here. You could argue a fourth, but there's really only three guys. You got uh, Eubanks on kind of this fade. Uh, you have DPJ, the main route, kind of on a cross post route, I would say. Uh, you got True Wilson after the play action on a little out route after he gets past the line of scrimmage. And then you could argue there's a little bubble route out of uh, Thomas, but that's more carrying out the fake than anything else. Uh, let's look at Patterson's eyes coming out of one fake, another fake. Uh, let's shift to a secondary view here. So now I think he's looking at two guys. I think he's looking at number six. Number six is actually getting... Uh, True Wilson out of the backfield, but I also think he's looking at number seven in his body language. If he's looking back towards the quarterback, he might see DPJ coming across and seeing that vulnerability, but he's still looking at Eubanks. So given these two players and what they're doing, it creates this gap where DPJ is going. Uh, Patterson sees this, delivers a nice strike, and good blocking by Eubanks down the field here at the goal line in order to open up a touchdown for DPJ. So good play. Uh, you know, nothing special here. I, I think it's just really well executed. Uh, it tried to match up. You know, you realize that the only guy really on DPJ was this linebacker, and that's never going to win if you're SMU. So, uh, you know, it's nice to see something look that easy against a team like SMU. Patterson wide open Another big seam pass from Patterson to Gentry. Let's look at the offensive line. Really impressed with the play here. You got number nine coming off the edge, and uh, SMU kind of slanted left initially to open up number nine, but Michigan diagnoses it well. Everyone stays really well engaged. Runyon's here to deal with number nine off the edge, and there's no real issue for many of these guys. They create a nice pocket, you'll see, for Patterson. At the time he's throwing, uh, you know, there's no pressure on him. He's got quite a bit of space to work with, so overall really good job by the offensive line. Uh, both sides are running the same route concept. You got both tight ends, McCune and Gentry on seam routes. You got both Collins and DPJ on these kind of, whoa, that's a bad out route, on out routes. Um, as a result, you'll see Patterson's eyes uh, right away go to this deep safety that just went out of frame. Uh, there will be another view here that will show uh, kind of what he's looking at. So he looks initially at this deep safety. He's going to see which way is this safety dropping, left or right. You'll see that the safety does kind of shift a little to his left, but overall uh, he isn't threatening really either seam route, but there is a little more space on Gentry's side. Um, interesting thing here. So it doesn't look like Patterson's necessarily looking at 11 right here. It kind of looks like Patterson's looking behind Gentry. What I think he's doing is he's trying to look up look off the defensive back on DPJ's route. So let's look at uh, a different angle here. You see that defensive back. You see a different angle. This defensive back is kind of cheating over on this uh, seam route, and that leaves DPJ open. So I think what Patterson's trying to do, right before he throws, he's looking at DPJ right now. I think he's trying to get that defensive back to cheat up a bit, hold up on the seam route, and then right when he throws, you know, that might have created a little bit more distance between these two players in order for Gentry to make the catch. Again, that's just my speculation, and it's a really nice throw. Uh, but I think that's why uh, we saw the eyes from Patterson dart over to DPJ before completing this pass. By Shea Patterson, first and goal at the seven. To the air again to oh. people's job. Beautiful back shoulder fade to DPJ. I'll be honest, I'm not exactly sure what this play was designed to do. On bottom screen, you got that kind of this screen action uh, with Collins and I think is McCune. Uh, you got the entire offensive line blocking down on the right side, and then you got Gentry coming backside for this defensive end. Obviously, you got the fade from DPJ, and then you have this sort of this like option read out of Patterson and Evans. Uh, but Patterson doesn't really like he he t gets out of it early. So I'm not exactly sure what the exact play call was, but he liked what he saw with the fade. Um, Gentry does not do a good job picking up this defensive end. This defensive end actually gets quite a bit of pressure. He takes too flat of a route. I think he needs to bubble over a bit to ensure he gets a piece of this defensive end because he does apply some pressure to Patterson. I mean, obviously, it's a quick throw, but he needs to do better than that. Um, you know, decent route by DPJ. He's got some contact right here. Really good job right here with his body control in order to go up, 
uh, this ball is at the perfect location. That's exactly where you want this back shoulder fade. If DPJ does not catch this, uh, no one does. And DPJ just, you know, displays that athleticism, ball away from the defender, and makes a great play. Patterson with time. Patterson looking deep. He's got people's jokes. Here we have DPJ's third touchdown of the day on a beautiful ball from Patterson. Uh, so overall, offensive line doesn't do a too bad of a job. You got four linemen right here. JBB on Wenyu Ruiz, Bradison doing okay on three guys. Uh, you're going to see Runyon get beat inside pretty badly by this defensive end. Let's forward it a little bit. You see he gets beat. Uh, he does an admirable, admirable job of recovering here, and Bradison tries to help. Patterson, as a result, shifts the pocket a little to his right here, and that's a good job by him. Routes on the play, you got a fly route out of Nico Collins. You got a deep post out of DPJ. He ends up getting the TD. Uh, you got this kind of curl route out of um, out of Gentry. Same thing with uh, Ben Mason. And then you got a little flat route out of Drew Wilson. Let's move forward here. So let's see the eyes of Shea Patterson. You're going to see that they're... Uh, they're on this deep safety on the right side of the field right away. So you see right out of the play action, boom, goes to number six. You'll see number six does not get enough depth. Patterson knows he's got this throw, and he delivers it right on the money in stride. Bonus, you see number 14 looking back at number six and just kind of chews him out, and you know number six messed up by not getting enough depth there. So, you know, overall, simple play. They make it look really easy. Uh, Runyon could have done a better job on this block, and you'd like to see that maybe get away with a hold here. Uh, probably not, though. But, um, you know, really nice throw in stride, and a uh, good job by DPJ. Evans with a big hole, and Evans into the secondary. Evans caught. Big 35-yard run from Evans on a fake jet sweep. Let's check out the offensive lineman first. You got Runyon and uh, McCune edging out this defensive end. They drive him downfield quite a bit. That's a good job by both of them on that two-on-one. You got Bradison going out to get this linebacker who inexplicably, in the wow words, inexplicably decides to go to the top of the screen away from everything. Um, <laughs> not sure why he decides to do this, but hey, he's there for it. Uh, so that works. Next, you got Ruiz kind of blocking down in this defensive tackle who continues to go upfield, and Ruiz does a good job to kind of eliminate him from the play. So he gets good movement on him, uh, completely eliminates him. You have both JBB and Unwenyu double teaming this guy, this defensive tackle, before JBB falls off to get to the second level. Uh, they get really good movement here. Um, you know, and when you is just driving his guy down the line and JBB goes to get this linebacker. But again, both this linebacker and this outside linebacker are playing off of the jet sweep. So they're both eliminated from the play. So no one for JBB to go for. And finally, you got uh, Gentry doing a good job getting his head inside on this block. Uh, the guy does move him inside a bit, but Gentry does just enough to set that inside hole. Uh, he still works across, so he does a good job to set the outside there for Evans. Not sure why Evans decides to cut across here. I think if he could have got to the sideline, he's faster than him. Maybe he was already feeling the uh, the cramp coming on, but right about here, you see him reach back for the hamstring. Um, you know, he might have still been able to make it here. I know DPJ was here about to block a defender, um, but unfortunate that he. Uh, got that cramping issue otherwise he might have been gone